Today, I'm gonna make this spoke shave using the Hawk Tools spoke shave kit. This is the Hawk Tools spoke shave kit where you make your own spoke shave in your shop, which is just awesome. Everything is included in the box to make your own spoke shave, uh, the blade, the spoke shave, all the parts, and the instructions are really straightforward to follow. So let's go ahead and dive right in. In the box is the Babinga body, a brass wear strip, two brass thumb screws, two set screws, a hex wrench, and a Hawk blade, and of course, the instructions. The first thing you want to do after carefully unwrapping the blade is go ahead and dry assemble the parts to look like the picture on the front of the box. This will help familiarize yourself with the kit. We'll go ahead and pop the blade in the routed out section here on the back and then thread in the thumb screws here from the front. And at first this might take a little bit of fiddling just to get that thumb screw started in the uh, in the blade, but then they go in very easily. We got thumb screws in, got the blade in, and got our brass wear strip. Now at this point, you can go ahead and lay out uh, how you want to cut your spoke shave, uh, roughing out you know the handles um, to look like the picture or look like other spoke shaves that you've seen, um, and go ahead and cut the blank uh, to those rough dimensions. I'm going to leave mine whole at this point, uh, but you can do that if you want to at this point. Next, we want to go ahead and sand the brass strip, preparing it for gluing into the rabbit here on the spoke shave. After just a couple of minutes with the 120, I've got a nice even scratch pattern all the way across the back. That's going to give a good glue surface for the epoxy. After removing the blade and the thumb screw, I'm going to thoroughly clean the babinga and the brass with some mineral spirits, just to make sure to wipe off any oil here uh, on the babinga, make sure it's nice and clean. And of course, also the brass, making sure it's nice and clean so we get a good adhesion with the epoxy. Okay, I've got my brass strip and my spoke shave ready and my clamping call. So I've mixed up my epoxy and I'll go ahead and spread just a little bit. Don't need very much along the edge here. And a little bit along the brass. Okay, now I'll take the brass and center it here in spoke shave. Get a clamping call, which is nicely waxed so it won't stick. You don't need a lot of clamping pressure with the epoxy, just enough to hold everything snugly in place. I've got the brass strip right along the front edge there in the rabbit, and it does overhang the back here. We'll clean that up uh, later on. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of denatured alcohol and just clean up uh, where the epoxy squeezed out. Try to clean that up as best we can, and then we'll go ahead and let it dry. While the epoxy is drying is a great time to hone your hawk blade. Now it's a hawk blade so it's sharp right out of the box, but of course some additional honing will make it razor sharp. Now there's a variety of ways you can do this. What I did was first flatten the back uh, on a 4000 and then 8000. It was already very flat so I could just start with the 4000, a couple of minutes, then the 8000, uh, less than a minute and it was good to go. Then I switched over to the bevel side and I went ahead on the 4000 and then the 8000, uh, just freehand honing uh, the bevel. And I did add a micro bevel on the 8000, just lifting it up a, a degree or two, a couple of strokes to add a micro bevel along the front. Took off the burr on the back that was created, and now I'm good to go. The back of the blade can ride along the wood when cutting, so go ahead and round it over slightly to avoid marking your work. 
It just needs a little sanding. After letting it sit overnight in the clamps for the epoxy to dry, I've now taken them off and it's time to uh, level the bottom of this spoke shave here. Uh, the wood is just slightly proud of the brass, but in either case, uh, you just want to get some sandpaper on a very flat surface. Uh, you can use cast iron or your um, table saw or whatever. I've got a workbench here that's super flat. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a 220 paper and just start lightly sanding the whole spoke shave and get it nice and flat all the way across the bottom. Check your progress as you go and understand that the brass is going to wear a lot more slowly than the wood as you're doing the sanding. I've got a little bit more to go here so I'm actually going to skip down to a 150 paper uh, to go a little bit quick, more quickly and then uh, finish up with a 220. Starting to hit the brass as well as the wood now. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish up back on the 220. Now that I've flattened the bottom, all that's left is to shape this into a spoke shave. Don't forget to remove the little lip of brass uh, overhanging the wood uh, using a file and work into the epoxy joint to not stress the glue. Now that I've finished shaping, I'm going to go ahead and install my newly sharpened blade with the thumb screws and we'll also put in the set screws. Now the set screws cut their own threads uh, as they go in so they can be a little bit tough uh, the first time that you're putting them in. But they go in pretty smoothly, loosen up the thumb screw um, so you're not uh, pushing against the thumb screw and that way you'll know when it starts pushing out the blade that you're all the way at the bottom. Well, now that I've got my spoke shave all set up, uh, I've got actually a very deep cut uh, set up. Let's give it a shot here. That is pretty sweet. Now let's take a finer cut. So there it is, making a spoke shave from the Hawk Tools Spoke Shave Kit. All in all, it took me a few hours. Most of that was shaping uh, the wood to be the shape that I wanted. Uh, you saw just how easy it is to assemble this project. The instructions are really straightforward. And of course, uh, it includes a Hawk blade, so you know it's gonna cut beautifully. It comes sharp straight out of the box, but a little additional honing will make it razor sharp. This project is really fun to make, and there is nothing better than using a tool that you've made yourself.